And in this video we're going to set up the Tarot Gimbal for use with the APM Copter, Archer Copter 2.6. First thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, it'll be linked below. Scroll down a little bit, download the Tarot Gimbal firmware version 1.5.zip. Scroll down a little bit farther. I went a little too far, right here. So we'll download this, the 3dr tarot.bgsc file, and that's the setup file for the Terra Gimbal. Uh, we'll get to that later. Then go to Google, type in PL2303 driver. It should be the first link that pops up here, the prolific website. Click on that. Download this file. Once you have those downloaded, uh, go ahead and install the driver. Unzip the version 1.5 uh, update file folder. And also you can see this 3dr tarot.bgsc uh, setup file. We'll get to that later as I said. Open up the version 1.5 folder. In this folder you'll see the firmware version 1.5 folder. Uh, just know where that's located and this application. I go and open up the application. Now what we need to do is plug in the USB dongle to the controller port on the Tarot Gimbal and then plug in the dongle to the USB port on the computer. And if you need to figure out what COM port it's on, go to the device manager. Click on ports, COM and LPT. Uh, you can see prolific USB to serial COM port is on COM4 on my computer. It'll probably be different on yours. Click COM4 uh, in the application, open COM port. Okay, now we're going to click open firmware. You'll see the the no. folder called firmware version no. 1.5. In that folder you'll see gimbal controller firmware version 1.5.bgsf. Click open. Okay, now note the power to the gimbal, the Terra gimbal is not connected at this point. Click start upgrade. It says starting firmware upgrade procedure, please wait on the bottom left of the application. At this point, we'll go ahead and plug in power to the Terra Gimbal. Now it's saying firmware upgrading, please wait. Firmware upgraded su successful. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and unplug power to the Terra Gimbal. I'm going to unplug the USB dongle from the computer. Now I'm going to unplug the USB dongle from the Tero Gimbal controller connector. I'm going to move it to the motor connector on the opposite side of the board. Once I have that plugged in, to the Tarot uh, motor connector. Go ahead and plug the USB dongle back into the computer. Just to verify the COM port again. We're still on COM4. Now we're going to click on motor configuration. Okay, select the correct COM port. Click open COM port. and then click open firmware. Now in this same folder, firmware version 1.5, you'll see motor driver firmware version 1.5.bmcf. Click on that and click open. Click start upgrade. Now it says starting upgrade procedure, please wait. At this point we'll plug in power to the Terra Gimbal board. It says firmware upgrading. Firmware upgrade successful. I'm going to unplug the power from the Tarot Gimbal. I'm 
go ahead and close this motor configuration window. Unplug the USB dongle and unplug the dongle from the Terra gimbal board. Plug the connector back into the controller connector. Again, that's on the opposite side of the board. Plug the dongle back in to the computer. Once we have it plugged in, uh, we need to select the COM port again. Uh, mine's still on COM4. At this point, we can plug in power to the Terra gimbal. Okay, now you can click Open COM port. Now, if it's connected successfully, you should see all parameters updated on the bottom left. And you'll see a little blue light on the dongle. That uh, is flashing rather quickly. Now what we need to do is calibrate the sensor on the Terra gimbal. Uh, you'll see this button here called Calibrate Sensors. Uh, so what you want to do is take the Terra gimbal, make sure the motor output mode is motor off. Okay. Take the Terra gimbal, face it directly up and make sure it is completely level and facing straight up. And then we're going to click calibrate sensors. You'll see sensors calibrated successfully. Now when you move the gimbal back to uh, facing forward, you should see that it moves around just fine on, on the display there. Now the next step is uh, load configuration. So we'll click on that button there, load config. And find that 3drtaro.bgsc file that you downloaded. Click on it and click open. And then click uh, right settings to flash. Now you can test it out. Click on uh, motor on. And it should hold the, the gimbal there straight forward. Uh, if you move it, it should come back to center. Uh, and it should move in the correct orientation if you move the tarot gimbal around. You can see that it stays completely level. Okay, one thing I wanted to note uh, I loaded my configuration. These are the settings that I have on my gimbal. They're a little bit different than the 3DR tarot settings. Okay. Now we're done with with the uh, with the gimbal. Uh, firmware update and settings configuration. We're gonna go over the connections uh, between the tarot gimbal and the APM. So this is a picture of the Taro control board, uh, and this is on the facing up on my on my Taro gimbal. Uh, what you want to connect is this pin right here. Uh, it's the T pin. So this row here is called CTR. It's the center pin T, uh, which I believe stands for tilt. That signal pin is going to be connected to the signal connection at uh, analog input. 11 on the APM. So A11 on the APM to the T pin on the Terra gimbal. And then uh, you can connect one of these negative pins uh, over to the to the negative terminal on the A11 jack as well. So once you have that uh, connected, we can move on to the uh, to the mission planner setup. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to set up your Tyrannus radio for Channel Six.
control on the uh, Terra gimbal tilt function. I'm going to plug power into my quadcopter. And I'm going to plug the power into the Terra gimbal. I'm going to connect to the APM through Mission Planner. Mode change to stabilize. Okay, once I'm connected, I'm going to go to this initial setup tab. Click on optional hardware, camera gimbal. You'll see a tilt for the camera gimbal tab. Um, you can use my settings. Uh, make sure the input channel is RC6. One thing to note is uh, once you set up your your uh, potentiometer for tilt function on, on the radio, you're going to have to do a radio calibration again. Any time you change uh, parameters, uh, con controls or, or switches, pots on the, the radio, you'll want to do a radio calibration again. And one other thing to note, there's some config tuning tab. Uh, click on extended tuning. Look at channel 6 option and make sure it's selected none. And once you have your <coughs> your parameters set uh, in the camera gimbal tab and on the config tuning, you can go ahead and test to make sure the gimbal moves correctly. I have my uh, radio set up to use this potentiometer right here on the side for the tilt function. So what that's, what that's going to do is control the, the tilt from facing straight forward to facing straight down. And I have mine actually set to move to to view just a little bit uh, past 90 degrees downwards. I think it's set to uh, maybe 10 degrees past uh, straight down backwards a little bit. You can see when I move the slider, the camera moves accordingly. And once that's tested, uh, your gimbal is set up and ready to go. Uh, just make sure you watch the, the setup portion of this video at the end for uh, setting up your Tyrannus radio to use that channel 6 function, uh, which is the slider here I have it set up for. Again, you can use any slider or switch that you want. I'm going to run through this setup of the Tyrannus radio to control the tarot gimbal uh, with the APM. So the first thing we're going to do push menu page over to the mixes page mixer page. I'm going to scroll down to channel 6. You can see mine's already set up. We'll just run through the settings. We'll edit that. You can see I named it gimbal source is RS which is this the potentiometer on the right hand side of the Tyrannus radio weight is 100 just to make all the settings on your radio the same as you see here I'm going to push exit to get back to the main screen 
I'm going to push page until I get to the channel monitor and here you can see channel 6 when I move this the potentiometer you can see it change values from negative 100 to positive 100 and that's what you want to see and that's going to be it for the setup